Fucking nearly hit in the face by a pheasant. That would have been pleasant. So what's up YouTube? Welcome aboard, welcome back to my channel. Appreciate you being here. Today's subject is getting old, and when I say getting old, I don't mean getting ancient, I mean just getting on a bit, passing your teenage years and getting over 30, even though I'm well over that now. Uh, as you know, those of you that follow the channel, I turned 45 last month, and it's the little things, the little reminders that creep up on you, the little things people say to remind you that you're getting old, that you're no longer that spring chicken, because as a guy, We've reserved the right to be childish at any point in our lives, up until death. And we exercise that right on many opportunities and usually ends us up in A&E or in our bad books with most people. But that's our right. It's called Peter Pan Syndrome, I believe, and a lot of us suffer from that. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is not being childish. The point is realising that you shouldn't be childish anymore. And this has happened to me on a few occasions over the last few months, years. And it's things people say, reminders that people give you, like your kids. I mean, my children the other day were telling me how I make noises when I sit down and then stand up again. I wasn't aware of this. I never used to do it. But now, evidently, when I sit down, I make the noise of... <sighs> Although so relieved to be off my feet, it's amazing which I can understand, because I like to sit down now, more than I used to. But more than that, are you gonna go? Not too quickly, whatever you do. But more than that, is I make a noise when I get up. And they said, I actually say the word up, I just put an H in front of it. And I kind of rock and prepare myself to get up and then go, hop, <laughs> and uh, I'm, up, I'm on my feet. So I make noises, so uh, for up, and uh, for sitting down. But that's not the main stories. The main stories are by strangers. And the first one was, to remind me, or when it dawned on me that I'm not a spring chicken anymore, was I was in a supermarket, doing my grocery shopping, going around, minding my own business. And this woman uh, kept looking over and staring at me and smiling. Now, it's a compliment when that happens. She was a bit of a MILF, or a cougar, whatever you like to call her, an older lady. And even so, I took it as a compliment, so I smiled back. And she was uh, continuing with her shopping, following me around. Not in a stalker-type sense, but we kept bumping into each other in various aisles. And uh, she was giving me the sparkle in the eye, the old lovely smile, and I was smiling back quite awkwardly, until it actually dawned on me that this woman is no longer a MILF. For those of you who don't know what a MILF is, Google it, but just don't do it at work, or in front of your wife or girlfriend. It dawned on me that she's no longer a MILF or a cougar. MILF now stands for my age I would like to. Not mother, I would like to, because she was my age. And the reason she was smiling is because she was my age. She wasn't a creepy predator. She was just smiling because we were of similar ages and she possibly found me attractive. She might have had cataracts, I don't know. And I felt even more awkward then, because now I'm thinking, she's my age. I've been smiling away and she might think I'm giving her the come on, which I'm not, because I'm happily married to a wonderfully lovely lady. And so I had to sort of like, quickly finish up my shopping, and then get the fuck out of there. Right, the other thing is, I was at the barber's. This is before I shaved my head. Uh, I'm not naturally bald, I just like it short for when I'm on a motorcycle. So last year I decided to grow my hair and I was at the barber's and he was trimming my hair up, we was having a chat, having a nice conversation as you do with your barber. 
creating a perfect world where there's world peace and there's no poverty talking about cars motorcycles women all the usual stuff you speak to your barber with and at the end what he normally does is he takes out the mirror and he shows you the back of your own head and no matter what sort of haircut you've got you say yes I like it and uh, you pay him a tip and then you move on with your life but instead of going for the mirror he went for some clippers and he came back and he said to me would you like me to trim your eyebrows and ears I looked at him like what did you just fucking say and he said a little bit more sheepishly would you like me to trim your eyebrows and ears now I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking my eyebrows don't look like I'm an ant or anything like I've got these antennae sticking up that are going to attract lightning and my ears certainly don't look like they've got rabbits in them or I'm wearing earmuffs so I asked him once again what the fuck did you just say? now he's really getting a stutter on now he's having a panic now he knows what he said and he's looked at me and said would you like me to trim your eyebrows and ears? they don't really need it but I can do that for you it's all part of the service so I politely declined and uh, we moved on with our lives but on the way home I bought an eyebrow and ear nose trimmer thing because to be honest he was correct but I just didn't like to be reminded of it because as we get older as men we got to keep ourselves in uh, tip top shape not that I do but you got to put a little bit more effort in a little bit more maintenance to keep you going we can't rely on plastic surgery well not all of us some of us can I'm not going to rely on plastic surgery I don't want to look like Sylvester Stallone's mum but there's just little reminders of uh, we're all getting old well we're all getting older it's not a bad thing you just got to deal with it but people every now and again will remind you <laughs> and it comes a shock sometimes anyway thanks for watching until next time fish out